Let's move across our border now and Moketsi Majoro has been sworn in as Lesotho's new Prime Minister. The former Finance Minister takes over from Tom Tobane, who resigned after being accused of conspiring to murder his estranged wife. Well, to find out what's happening in the Mountain Kingdom now, I'm joined by Institute for Security Studies consultant Peter Fabricius. Uh, good evening, Peter. Thanks very much for joining us. So Tom Tobane is out. Finance Minister Moketsi Majoro is in. Um, Apart from the incredible sort of drama-style plot of what happened around uh, the murder of his estranged wife, is Tabani still the leader of the ABC party, even while he's no longer prime minister? Yeah, that is. That's one of the strange anomalies of this whole thing. It's, it's not been made completely clear what Tabani's motives are for, for clinging to that. It might just be a question of pride, you know, because he was hoping to remain prime minister at least until the end of July. And, uh, and, and so perhaps hanging on to the party leadership might be his way of, of just, you know, easing his uh, passage out of, out of public life. Uh, but it could create problems. I mean, um, the, the party is determined not to allow him to push things around. But I think the Secretary General acknowledged today that it, it creates two centers of power. And, and Majora, though he's, uh, he's a, apparently a capable finance minister, he's quite a technocrat, is not really a... a a, a politician. So, you know, but look, I guess there will be other people in the party who will do the political fighting for him, but mm. it does create a potential for instability in that sense. Was the pressure for Tom Tabani to, to step down, uh, was it purely linked to uh, the pending murder charges against him, or is there politics at play here as well? You know, I think it was related not only to the murder charges per se, but the fact that his the the, the wife, you know, Masia, who who is was charged, who has been formally charged with the murder, and, um, was also meddling in in uh, in Lesotho's politics from a year back or more. You know, a lot of people call her the Grace Mugabe of, of Lesotho because she was much younger than him. He's 80, she's about 42, and she came onto the scene and and immediately began meddling uh, in government decisions, party decisions, and so on. So even before the murder charges were laid, she had, she had really irritated just about everybody in the ABC, the, the governing party and the coalition, as well as in government. But, you know, I mean, Lesotho's politics are also incredibly uh, inherently turbulent, you know. So maybe something else might have come up. Um, what's going to happen with the court case now? Is it, is it more than likely that Tom Tabani will also now be charged for the murder of his estranged wife, um, as his current wife has already been done, has already yeah. been charged? Yeah, I think so. So what happened is that when he was brought to court a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, he, his, his, his attorneys argued that he should enjoy immunity from prosecution because all this happened, you know, obviously when he was um, head of government. And that issue was then more or less referred to the, I'm not sure if it was formally referred to the, uh, to the, the, the Consti Constitutional Court to decide that issue. So one must presume that now all the turbulence of, of his you know, removal from office is over, that, that pr process will, will proceed. I don't, he hasn't been given any kind of um, amnesty as, as, as part of the deal to get rid of him. In fact, he didn't really quit. He was forced to quit, is, is, is the way I understand it. The Council of State met on Monday and basically said to him, look, if you don't uh, resign, you know, you're going to be forced out by a vote of no confidence in Parliament. So then he went off and told everybody he was resigning. <laughs> what does this mean for uh, political stability? Are we likely to see a cabinet reshuffle? And is yeah. there any real risk of, of deep instability, perhaps even with security forces and the army, that sort of thing? Is, is there any potential for possible conflict in Lesotho? You know, uh, yes, he's already reshuffled the cabinet and, and slashed it from 26 to 17 members. So that's a good sign. You know, in... in which is consistent with his image as a technocrat who, you know, who doesn't just believe in dishing out cabinet posts as patronage. Um, the, in terms of stability, you know, there is, as I said earlier, kind of inherent instability in, in Lesotho. Um, it, it's to some degree maybe related to the system, the, the party political system. It's also to do with, I don't know, just a cultural thing. So... Uh, the, the signs are good so far that maybe he will avoid that, but there are certain ten, in, in, inbuilt tensions like uh, within the coalition, uh, one of them being 
for example, that, okay, you have the ABC and, and uh, Majoro is the putative head of the ABC, or the, you know, uh, or, the, or the future head, shall we say, of the ABC. Then the, the main opposition party, the DC, and the DC and, and, you know, and the ABC don't have a good history together. You know, it was a party that was created by Paco Lito Mosasili. And, and one of the issues about that, that they may fight about, I'm, I'm told, is, is, is the, the, the release or the amnesty for um, Claudi uh, Kamodi, the, the army chief who's in jail now for having murdered the, the, the ex-army chief, uh, Makranko Amahao. So, and the D, you know, that happened when the DC was actually in government. He's their guy. ABC don't like him. You know, so there, there are there are potential spats and 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 tensions between members of the coalition, and some people just say, well, as, as long as they can keep together till the next elections in 2022, we'll be we'll be happy. Well, thank you very much for your insights. Really appreciate it, there, uh, Peter Fabricius, a consultant with the Institute for Security Studies.